Hello and welcome to FX4 Astro. My name is Justin and tonight we're taking data on the Cocoon Nebula, catalog IC5146. The Cocoon Nebula is a pretty interesting target. I haven't shot it before. It lies roughly 3300 light years away and is about 15 light years across if you view it directly on as you would from us. Um, the Cocoon Nebula is interesting because it houses a lot of young stars. And by young, I mean they're in the few hundred thousands of years old, <laughs> but considering the lifetime of most stars, that is extremely young. Uh, this nebula is really bright in the reds and the blues because the reds will show us the hydrogen gas forming regions that create the stars, and the blue colors will show us the dust that the light from the stars are reflecting off of. Uh, tonight is supposed to be an almost full moon, if not full moon, I haven't checked, and the light pollution in my area is also pretty bad. So I'm hoping that we get a pretty good picture tonight. So this is what our sky will look like while we're trying to image the Cocoon Nebula. To find it, just look west-northwesterly, find the constellation Cygnus and Cepheus, and it'll be roughly right in between these two. If you can find the brightest star in Cygnus to Neb, just go north from that and then west a little bit, and you'll be in roughly the area of the Cocoon Nebula. This target will fit within our frame pretty well. Um, it's relatively small, but this is just a rough estimate, it will actually be a little bit bigger than this, and we'll have to trim off the outside edges to get rid of stacking artifacts anyways. So this target should be pretty good for our setup. It's got an apparent magnitude of 7.2, so it's probably not going to show up on our screen due to our extreme light pollution and it being just about a full moon tonight. However, it is in a good position in the sky because it's opposite of where the full moon is going to rise, and it's high up early in the night. As the night goes on, however, though, it's going to lower closer to the horizon as the sky spins around its apparent axis, Polaris. So this is what my astrophotography tool shows when I'm imaging this target. 
Um, I'm only taking 30 second subs and this target is fairly dim so we won't really see anything on the image preview. Um, the camera doesn't show it very well but if we're in the center of the screen you can very faintly see kind of the edge of the cocoon nebula. Um, my guiding graph is a little bit out of control, the declination axis, and I can tell you that that is because I need to get a sufficient back focus on my camera. And as a result, I can't really balance the declination axis very well. And also, look at this moon. Look how bright this moon is. It almost looks like I'm sitting right under a street lamp. <laughs> so this, this makes imaging a little bit more difficult. But we don't get very many clear nights in the northwest, so we take what we can get. Well, that just about wraps it up for tonight. Thank you so much everybody for watching, and please enjoy the image at the end of the video. And until next time, clear skies.